The new iOS 26 just dropped on the iPhones and now here are some of the things that you really need to do. First up is gonna be the lock screen. Tap and hold and you can just click on customize. Now once you're inside the customization, you can just drag your clock like that and you will get that amazing, amazing iOS 26 lock screen effect. There you go, pretty cool, right? Now, you can actually make it more cooler by actually click on the depth effect right there. That will actually make your wallpaper 3D. Looks pretty cool, right? But that will actually disable the clock effect. So if you want the clock effect, you need to disable the depth effect. So in this case, I don't want that. I, I love this look, just tap on done, and there you go you actually have the lock screen. Next up are the clear icons. Everybody's calling them clear icons. So just tap and hold on your home screen, click on the edit at the top left corner, click customize. Now inside the customize, you can just click on clear. Now here's a pro tip. You can actually dim the wallpaper to make the icons pop. So just tap on the, just tap on the screen right there, see? See? The wallpaper goes dark and the icons actually pop, which looks absolutely awesome. And here's a bonus tip. If you don't like this look, which I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who don't, go to your settings page and go all the way down to accessibility. And once you find the accessibility, just tap on it. Inside the accessibility, you can actually see there is a setting called display in text size. Inside the display in text size, there's an extra option called reduce transparency mode. If you don't like what if you don't like what you see, you can actually disable it and it actually looks pretty cool, but it doesn't look the liquid glass that you get. So if you disable it, it will go back to the normal. Pretty cool. This new feature is absolutely amazing. To use this feature, you need to take a screenshot. And also I'm gonna show you a trick to taking quick screenshots. But first up, let me show you this new cool feature. So every time you take a screenshot, let me just let me just take a screenshot, which is really hard. Also, I'm gonna show you the quick way. Once you take a screenshot, you can actually search circle to search. And that way it will automatically give you the results that you're looking for. Scroll up, click continue, give all the permissions necessary. And let me just turn down the brightness so you can actually see better. And that will automatically search, that will automatically give you the results that you're looking for. This feature is so cool if you wanna find products or if you wanna find anything, just basically search, just basically circle and it will automatically search for you. Pretty cool and it works every single time so so cool now let me show you how you can take now let me show you how you can take quick screenshots you don't have to press this every time you don't have to do this every time okay so i what i do what i use is basically simple all i do is just hold and it will take a screenshot so basically what if i want to do what if i want to take a screenshot of this i just hold and there you go take a screenshot so cool so to do this to get this feature, which is pretty awesome. Go to the settings. Inside the settings, you wanna to go to accessibility. Inside the accessibility, you wanna scroll just a tiny bit until you find touch. Click touch and enable the assistive touch. Once you enable that, you will get this tiny thing. Next thing you need to do is to customize the actions, okay? Don't worry about it, don't be scared, it's really simple. Just tap on the, as you can see, I'm using couple, as you can see, I'm using couple gestures. As you can see, the long press, click on the long press and select the screenshot so let me just find that there you go select the screenshot now every single time you long press this this will automatically take a screenshot which is so cool now you can actually make it look you can actually make this thing a tiny bit invisible okay as you can see this doesn't look too bad on the this doesn't, this doesn't look too bad on the home screen right to make it even better go to the assistive touch controls and you can actually change the opacity of this thing so as you can see i am at 19 percent i'm just gonna i'm just gonna dial it down down there you go now this thing will just this thing will go invisible when it's idle so give it a couple of seconds and there you go it's barely visible Pretty cool if you take a lot of screenshots. Yeah. These next settings are pretty cool. So head over to your settings page. Inside, let me just <laughs> turn down the brightness just a tiny bit so you can actually see. Inside the settings, go to your battery. Inside the battery, you can see the whole thing is just updated. Inside the battery, you wanna go into the power mode. They have added the power mode and enabled the adaptive power mode. Thank me later, this will save your battery if, but this will save your battery and the battery life. Unfortunately, this is only available to iPhone 15 and above. So if you have that, just enable the adaptive power mode. Next up is such a tiny setting, but you will love this thing. Inside the setting, find camera, as you can see right there. Once you're inside the camera, scroll all the way down until you find something called lens cleaning hints. 
This is absolutely game changing. If you use your phone a lot and if you use it for taking photos a lot and if there's something on the lens, the camera will actually show you that your lens is not clean. So clean it up before you take photos. Okay, next up, what you need to do is head over to the settings page and inside the settings, scroll down and until you find notifications. Now inside the notification, scroll just a tiny bit and you need to enable the summarize notifications. By far my favorite feature on the new iOS 26. Once you enable that, you can actually select the apps you want. In this case, as you can see, I've selected Formula One, which will, what, what this will do is basically summarize all the notifications coming from Formula One, which is absolutely bonkers when you think about it. Next up is for the spam callers. Pretty awesome feature in the new iOS. Open your phone app. Inside the phone app, you want to click on the you wanna click on more settings at the top right corner. Once you do that, you can actually click on manage filtering. Inside the manage filtering, you just enable the unknown callers. All the spam calls will be silenced after that. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. By the way, if you find any of these features useful on your iPhone, be sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? I would really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.